Good day, everyone, and thanks for joining us here in the charts. You're tuned into the Market Beast Edition. Yes, it is your fellow Kumbhali speaking, and I wanted to do a really quick visit on the nerve symbol, uh, Minerva Neuroscience Incorporated, if I said that correctly. Uh, we're going to go over a few things. Uh, we did make a previous call on this, and I just want to... Um, just to revisit the charts just to see if everything is still in line with what we, we've discussed. And if you're just joining us, welcome and hit that subscribe button. We do the best we can here, guys. We're not perfect, but we do nail a lot of calls and we get some of them wrong as well. So if you appreciate transparency, join us here on our journey. Leave a comment, leave an appropriate thumb there. The YouTube algorithm is picking up on the channel. Thanks to you and our loyal subscribers. Let's go ahead and talk about this stock. Let's go ahead and dive right into the charts here, shall we? All right, so today is January the 28th, 2021, and the previous close of this stock is going to be $3.22. It's down approximately 5.8% for the day, okay? Nothing, nothing's coming in pre-market there, just 0% exactly where it started. So what we're going to do is, so my thesis on this was that it will probably continue lower. Uh, my lines are still the same. Our lines are still the same. Uh, the green line down here is going to act as the potential floor at about a dollar seventy nine. Uh, some probably going to ask, do I still see it going down there? Honestly, we're, I think we're at a turning point here. I, I don't, I don't want to say I don't think it's going to go down to one seventy nine. But the only thing that I was waiting to see is some sort of turning point, and what I'm seeing here on the chart appears to be. Um, an interesting pattern. This is a small setup here. I'll just go ahead and circle it here uh, because we do have double digit targets on this stock, believe it or not. If you guys are just joining us, we did mention this in one of our previous videos. Um, in fact, if I could just kind of go there very quickly, we're not going to listen in, guys. I know some people get annoyed when we listen in on the videos. We're not doing that right now, okay? So this is going to be th this video right here, guys, is where we already explained it. It was posted like a month ago. And I think what we were looking for was. I was saying that it's probably going to take some time for the markets to continue to flush out. I think I was like 365 days. So, so far, let's see how, how long it's been. It's about 238 days so far. So let's crank it on over to 365 days. I think on that video, we were expecting to see at least um, consolidation leading all the way to and possibly through the date of June the 1st, 2021. Do I still think that's possible? I mean, maybe, guys. I'm not sure. But I do want to just stop in and, and give you guys one level to watch. I think this level right here, I'm going to put on a chart right here. Uh, hang on. So right here is going to be an interesting level, $2.73. Do I think it could get that low? Maybe. I'm not sure. I think that the market still needs some time to consolidate. And just because we had this really nice move from this level here, right here at the lows of about two dollars and 32 cents um and it had a really nice bounce let's see how high it went up from the lows there it went up approximately 62 cents that's that's an interesting sign because the buyers are stepping in but please understand the trends that we go over guys you know what we go over pull up your chart and make sure that you are you understand where the, where the trend is okay the trend is down undeniable unarguable you can argue with me until you're blue in the face purple whatever color i'm not sure but the trend is your friend until the end is it the end the evidence in the chart so far has not suggested that it's the end it's a really nice bounce yes but if you notice what i'm illustrating on the screen here it's just been in like a very large consolidation range now that i think not if i'm just kind of looking at everything in a large consolidation range between let's see two dollars and sixty two dollars and 81 cents all the way up to the uh twelve dollars and 84 cent level so that's like a very large range this price has been in ever since uh 2014 so we're talking about a very large range over the course of about six or seven years and right now we're, we're they're kind of flirting with the lows here so i think this is an opportunity i like don't try to don't don't be like me guys i try to time the bottom okay and you know experts say don't try to time the bottom just tell them look you don't try to time the bottom. Napoleon, macro, is okay with where he is trying to time the bottom. Let him do what he's, he's going to do, okay? That's what I do. But don't be like me. Scale into your position, okay? It's okay to scale into your position. I think this is an interesting level here at about 
73 cents if this level just so happens to get a back test and it can hold that support that would be a very beautiful sign that the buyers are stepping into this market accumulating or in preparation to thrust to the upside here at some point in the future there's only one level for me for this uh this potential blast off okay this overhead yellow line and it's hard to let you know exactly where it is was it let's just say it actually happens uh, this is super hypothetical guys let's say it actually happens next week okay that's a very aggressive move i don't think that that's practical for it to play out it's five dollars and 65 cents right up here at this yellow line guys if it were to like kind of blast off as it did down here at the from the lows the, the most recent lows okay i'm not saying that's the bottom so what am I saying? It sounds like I'm going all over the place. Uh, the the two dollars and seventy three. I, I I agree with the critics, uh, the, but to complete, keep it simple here, two dollars and seventy three cents. Any negative day above that level, assuming that this is support and that it would hold and it was not going to be compromised to the downside, I think is an interesting level to scale into your scale into my position. This is what I would do with my portfolio. So let's just say I had like a thousand bucks, right? And yesterday it was down about, what was it, um, 5%. So that's beautiful. I would have thrown like 5% in the market. Okay, I don't know how much you guys are working with. Let's just say like 100 bucks just for, you know, for mathematical, easy to understand. Mathematical, if it were 100 bucks, you're going to throw in the market. Like every negative day, I just throw 5% at this market above two dollars and 73 cents hopefully that's specific i know i was all over the place throughout the video but here are the specifics guys five percent of your position uh once a week above the two dollars and 73 cent level okay so i'll just leave it at that okay and assuming that that level holds a support uh but i would only scale into i know five percent once a week into your position above 273 but do not enter more than 30 percent of your position because you want to see how this level is going to respond if it actually gets this low at about two dollars and 73 cents so hopefully you guys caught that that was very specific you're going to invest up to 30 percent once a week uh into your position a negative day above 273 nobody's giving these specifics guys on how to enter the market okay um and your sell target i don't know if you long term or you're you're swinging this I mean, my, for my swing players, I mean, you can wait and ride it up to, I don't know, uh, this is what I would do. Something like like 450 up to $5 if you want to like do something like that, my swing players, right? But again, this level must hold $2.73. If it doesn't, then all, everything I'm saying is null and void. Okay, so let's see. What is the risk to reward on that? Let me see. Quick math. Man, I know this video is getting long. Thanks for, thanks for your patience here, guys. Let's see. Four. Let's just call it four. 50 let's just see if this is even a practical play because remember you want at least like two to one risk to reward let me see here yeah so that's 2.8 because i pulled it all the way down to uh the stop loss is going to be we can even pull it down a little bit like 270 so that's going to be a 2.4 risk to reward ratio that's fair to me i think that's fair you know so that's this is how i enter the market guys this is this is and it's and it's not complicated to understand this stuff like I don't know. A lot of people just don't have a strategy. So that's that's how I would play this for those of you who are kind of anxiously uh, want to get into the market. But you you're trying to wait to the level that I said it's going to get down to a dollar and seventy nine. That's it's not guaranteed it's going to get that low, guys. You have to just, you know, position yourself accordingly. Understand your risk tolerance into the market like a champion execute your strategy i'm rambling let's go ahead and uh, close it out here guys thank you for your time uh leave an appropriate thumb just below the video there if you enjoyed the content critics go ahead and let me know i'm all over the place i know i get it uh just get yourself a strategy and stop looking on youtube for financial advice how about that and that's it take care of yourselves protect your portfolio we're going to talk very soon and bye for now